Hi, thanks for watching my video. Well, today's video I think is going to be a bit of a messy one. Not really a storyline of any kind, mainly just messing around and seeing how complicated of a situation I can make. I've made a sim here, her name is Kerish. she lives alone in Willow Creek. And today we're going to be doing, I guess, another experiment to test the limits of the relationship and pregnancy overhaul mod, which is one of my favourite mods to have, but I guess a lesson I have learned over the years is that I just can't have nice things. I can't just have a useful mod and appreciate it for what it is. Instead, I have to do pointless and ridiculous experiments to see if there's some way I can break it. So I've decided we're going to put it to the test. Mainly this is a test on my ability for how well I can manage this situation. But I fairly recently did two storylines. One of them was about a guy whose mission was to get five girlfriends in his new house in Newcrest. And another storyline was about a sim who had a wife, but she also had a boyfriend and she was basically trying to convince them both that they should pay for her baby. If you've played with the Relationship and Pregnancy Overhaul mod, you'll know that there is the ability to lie about paternity stuff. You could tell someone they fathered your child when they didn't, and then you can ask them to make arrangements to financially support the baby. So I thought, let's take a little piece of both those storylines and see if my sim here, if my sim Keris, can efficiently convince five sims that they fathered her baby. And I myself like to be surprised. So I'm just gonna go and set her fertility rate. We'll set it at 75. That way it's a high chance, but I still won't be certain who the father is. So yeah, that's my plan, basically. I'm gonna be enlisting the help of the meet and mingle dating app so I can go and meet young single guys. We're gonna build up some good relationships with five sims, and then one by one, we're gonna invite them over. We're gonna have a cheeky woohoo sesh, and hopefully by the end of it, she'll be pregnant, and she won't even know who the father is. So it'll be that much easier to lie. You know what, I think I've spotted a sucker right here. I think Travis might be a good shout. Come and greet Travis. Ignore the two ladies. Just completely snub them. Because I'm just thinking, you know, if I can... If I can get five men to think that they're the father, I'd never have to pay for a babysitter, would I? I could go out every night if I wanted. And as far as the men are concerned, you know, I'm just letting them spend time with their kids. You know, I can go out, get shit-faced every night, and I'd be a good mum at the same time. I wish, though, that there was an expansion of this mod that bled into children as well. There probably is, actually. I mean, I might have even done a video on it and forgotten about. But it would be cool, seeing as you can lie to people about whether or not they are the parent of your child, I feel like it would be quite funny to also be able to bring children into the lie and, like, have a child grow up believing one parent is theirs. But it isn't. There is a bit of that in the adoption side of this mod. But I would like a subsection that allows me specifically to lie to the child about who their daddy is. Well, we're getting on really well with Travis, so it looks like I might only need to go on four dates. I have just started a brand new save file because I already have way too many sims in my other save files. So I'm only working with the game's own tallies. But luckily, I'm just not really that bothered as to whether or not they're single or not, you know. Not fussed. So I'm not going to have to spend loads of time looking for the most eligible bachelors. I mean, to be honest, if you've got a pulse and you can impregnate this sim, you're on the table. All right, I think we're friendly enough. Let's just turn flirty, uh, make a flirtatious joke. I want to try and get all five sims to a point where their relationship is high enough that if I invite them over, they can just woohoo, you know, no niceties, just straight to it, and then that way we can just do one after the other. Because I tried to do this in the video where I tried to convince Akira that he was the father of my sim's child, but I was just spending too much time dicking about and I just got way lost in my tracks. I would woohoo with him after finding out she's pregnant. I think in the end we ended up doing like three pregnancies. And I still didn't manage to convince him that he fathered the child, so I'm determined to not make the same mistake this time. 
Oh, you know what? I may as well ask him to be boyfriend. No, it, no harm, is it? You can have as many boyfriends as you like. No harm, no foul. Right, okay. Now I have the option to woohoo, which means probably time I send you home now, Travis. Because i got to get ready for a date. No, don't come in. Don't invite yourself in. That's right. You turn right around. You do a U-turn in my hallway. Okay. Right. Let's fire up that dating app. Um, we'll go for a semi-blind date. I saw that we matched on Meet and Mingle. Who am I to question fate? Instead, I'll ask you on a date. Want to meet and see if any sparks fly? Yes. Yes, I would. Yes. Okay, let's go to the Rattlesnake Juice Bar. Oh, they're wearing matching colours. Should I just go straight in for the kiss hand? I mean, she's very flirty, so she might be able to pull it off. Just go straight in there, girl. Oh, yeah, he loves it. Is that a tattoo you've got on your shoulder? What's that tattoo of? Are you a bad boy, Mitchell? You like to take risks? I like to take risks. We'll do sexy pose, off a rose, all of that. Oh, there's... Speaking of the man himself, there's Akira. Although in this save file, he, uh, he doesn't have any children. Moira, this is a private conversation, okay? Get a life, get some friends. Now all I have to do is try and watch my back and make sure Travis doesn't turn up because when I'm cheating on a sim, for some reason, my sim's partners, they just spawn up randomly. It's so inconvenient. Oh, he's, he's fucked off, he's left. Didn't even let me carry on with this date. Oh, just as Travis turned up? Maybe that was quite lucky timing then. Okay, well then in that case, let's just go home. Let's just go home. We'll go on another date. Oh, he wants to become best friends. Yeah, okay. I'll become your best friend for five minutes before the next person asks. Yeah, I think the next date probably will take place at our house. You can go use the bathroom, have a quick meal, just a super quick sandwich. All right, let's fire up the old meet and mingle again then. So how did we leave things with Mitchell? Lovebirds, okay. We probably could, probably could woohoo with him. Okay, sweet, yes. Let's go on a date. Now I'm thinking we should probably go to the university area because I don't want one of my, one of my partners stopping by. Maybe Oasis Springs was a bit too close to comfort for, for Travis. Right, okay, this time I'm not putting the work into all this friendship shit. I'm gonna greet Cameron and then we're gonna take some selfies. Let's take a selfie. Oh, don't we look like a cute couple? All right, that's the friendship taken care of. Now we can focus on the romance. He is an adult, isn't he? Yeah, okay, good. Oh no, someone says something embarrassing. Okay, let's see if we can go for our first kiss. I don't know why he's still embarrassed. Okay, he's flirty, good, good. Well, this is going really well. What a smooth operator you are, Keris. Oh, has he left? Yeah, I think he's gone. That's fine, though. We we left things off in a good spot with... Uh, what's his name? With Cameron. Yes, I know. I know. You're not happy. Just go home. Just go home. You could take as big of a shit as you like. Okay, don't worry. You could just take care of your needs now, all right? I'm not going to hassle you. You didn't even need the bathroom. Oh, I think it's... I think it's because she ate meat. Whoops. Just have some cheese crackers. You'd think, as a vegetarian myself, I wouldn't make this mistake so often. <laughs> I'm pretty sure every single vegetarian sim that I've played as, I've fed them meat. Sorry! Okay, should we send some flirty text messages? I think so. We don't need to bother so much with Travis. He's already a boyfriend. So, you know, no further effort required on our part. Rise and shine! We'll go take a shower. We're not thinking about university. We'll take a shower. We'll have a nice vegetarian meal. Oh, are you singing in the shower? Ah. Yeah. And this time I think we should just head to... We're going to head to a bar in Windenburg. And if we don't meet a sim there, then we'll hop on our meet and mingle dating app again. You happy? You good? All right, let's hit the road. We'll just go Shrieking Llama. Can't go wrong with the Shrieking Llama bar. Oh, I'm already spotted a sim here. Hector Laurent. Right, you know the deal, Keris. We'll go take some selfies with Hector. Perfect. Okay, we'll ask some risky questions. He seems flattered. Oh, Victor Feng has joined the conversation. Oh, he wants to know if we want to become best friends. Oh, that's sweet. Can we have a first kiss? Is he going to turn me down or can we go for a first kiss? 
Yes, we can. Okay, sweet, sweet. Just got to try and get this conversation to teeter along awkward and casual. I'm not going to kick out Victor because I, I might have him as number five. Okay, the option to woohoo has come up. So, I'm going to send him away and then we're going to take some selfies with Victor. Very fast mover. Already, she knows what's up. She's already sat down right next to him. Fifth and final fella. All right, now we'll flirt with Victor, and then phase one will be complete. In case you can't tell, phase one is meet and build a relationship with these guys. Phase two is invite them over on a rotational basis for a woohoo. And phase three is invite them over on a rotational basis to lie about them being the father. Although one of them will be the father. I just don't know which one. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. He's here. This is not good. This is not good. Why did you turn up, Cameron? Ugh. Oh, Ugh. Oh, just go away. He's gonna be upset. Okay, I think I managed to get away with that somehow. Although, I think Victor is now leaving, but that's fine because I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna invite Victor over. I'm gonna... Uh, see if I can do this without being caught cheating on anybody. Alright, Victor. You are going to be the first one to come over. Victor Feng will be right over. Okay, great, here he is. Okay, Victor Feng's in the house. I just need to be flirty enough to woohoo. We'll flirt a couple of times, we'll give him a few roses. All right, things are getting suggestive. That's what we like to hear. Why have you turned up when you were not invited? Go away. These Sims, man, they're so suspicious. We'll ask him to be boyfriend, sure. Okay, woohoo with Victor. Or shall we try for pregnancy? Let's try for pregnancy. Okay, phase two, officially underway. So I think when we're done with Victor, we'll send him home and then we'll invite over Hector, Cameron. I'm gonna save Mitchell for last because I think he's gonna need a little bit more work than the other lads. Okay, so now you can wake up, get out, call yourself an Uber or something, I don't care. Send home. He wants to become best friends. They all want to become best friends. Okay, he can go home. And then Hector, let's get you over. He's still in his pyjamas. I'm sure your girlfriend will not be suspicious at all, Victor. And there's Hector walking on in, just as the other one leaves. Okay, can we just go straight to it? No. Okay, we still have a little bit of work to do with Hector, but that's okay, that's fine. Oh, now this guy's turned up. Stop showing up at my house. Okay, the option is here. Try for pregnancy. I'll keep an eye on the streets. Make sure no unwanted visitors are strolling by. I've got your back, girl. Don't worry about it. Huh. Why are we trying for a baby? Keris doesn't want a child right now. And actively trying for a baby is simply a stressful process in that circumstance. <laughs> oh, Keris, I'm sorry. Yeah, does not want a child right now. Well, I'm sorry, Keris, but God has other plans. And right now, God wants you to sleep with five guys in the same day. All right, wake up and then get out of my house. It's already 4 p.m. I've got three more guys to see, so maybe you should put your shoes back on. Bye-bye. We'll send him home. And then Cameron, come on over, son. He's got a spring in his step now, hasn't he? Oh, here he is. Here's Cameron. We'll go for a pickup line, don't worry. I'm watching the street, I'm watching the street. Okay, already try for pregnancy with Cameron, straight away. No need to waste any time. It's getting on for five o'clock. He already looks tired. Oh, what a successful day. Such a successful day. So Travis, I'm gonna invite over next. And then, like I said, I'm gonna save Mitchell for last because he's gonna need a, little more, a bit more work. Imagine after all this, she's not pregnant, because I set her fertility rate at 75%, so there is still a chance she might not be pregnant. Bye-bye, Cameron. Probably time you leave. I'm sure you've got some homework to do. And then we'll invite Travis over. I like how we're not even getting dressed. Like, we're just wearing the same pyjamas we've been wearing this whole time. Hey, Travis. How's it going, mate? Oh, hang on, hang on. Here's another fella. I'm gonna send you away, Hector. I knew someone would turn up. I just knew they would. Try for pregnancy with Travis. Don't even need any, any pleasantries at all. Okay, one more to go. Wake up, Travis. Send home. And then finally, we'll invite over Mitchell. Mitchell's going to take a little bit more grafting, I think. But that's fine. The night is still young. So let's 
Oh, Hector, you're so needy. Send home. Get out, Hector. Oh, what? Why are you still here? What is your problem? Send home. Why are you so needy? Don't just walk into my house. That fucking guy. Oh no, this is getting awkward. What if I do a sexy pose? Sexy pose, off a rose, kiss hand. Okay, great, he's flirty now. Perfect, that's all I needed. Okay, we'll go in for our first kiss. Then we'll blow a kiss. Just all the kisses. Okay, perfect. Try for pregnancy. And then hopefully by the time we're done, we'll get a positive pregnancy test. If we don't get a positive pregnancy test, then I don't really know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Because I've just tried for a pregnancy with five guys. I mean, she must be pregnant by now, surely. Okay, perfect. So let's take a pregnancy test. Hopefully she pulls a shocked face. What's the verdict, Keris? Oh, I think the verdict is pretty clear. <laughs> Who's the other parent? Keris has woohooed with several possible impregnators recently and isn't sure which one is related to her child. Oh, brilliant. All right, let's wake this guy up. We'll tell him the big news. Okay, announce the pregnancy. And then, of course, we'll tell him he's the father and he's the only person that we've been seeing lately. Organized to provide for the baby. That's right. Strangely, though, she doesn't have the option to tell him that he fathered the child. All she can do is admit to not knowing who fathered the child. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to admit to not knowing. I just want to straight up lie to his face. Oh, now he has to get going. Yeah, sure. Okay, great. I wonder if I invite one of the other guys over, if they'll tell me that it's too late and that they're sleeping. This might be a job for tomorrow morning. He's sleeping. All right, let's just sleep and then we'll deal with this in the morning. Keris's partner is happy about the pregnancy, if only Keris could be too. Okay, so that tells me that Mitchell thinks that he is the father, which is good for me. All right, Keris, we better do our rounds. So we've already told Mitchell, let's get Hector over here, ready for phase three, which is to rotationally tell them that they're all the father. Okay, Hector Laurent is going to be right over. Here he comes. So we will announce our pregnancy. Hopefully he's thrilled. Organized to provide for the baby, of course. Oh, he's he didn't seem happy. I guess he also didn't want children. Let's ask. Ask him if he wants children. Oh, he'd be happy to have a child. Okay, good, good. They keep having negative interactions every time she asks Hector to provide for the baby. All right, fuck it. I'm just going to tell him that we don't know who fathered the child. See what he says. Because he's not really acting like he thinks he's the parent. Which is a concern. Okay, she's telling him. He's devastated. He's crying. He's yelling at her. Yeah, he's shouting forbidden words and everything. You know what, Hector? I think is probably best. Probably best you go home. I wonder if the reason why she can't lie. Let's ask a psychic about the other parent. We'll ask a psychic if Travis is the father. And then we'll invite Travis over and see if we can lie about it. The sim you asked about is not the one who fathered your child. Well, let's invite him over and tell him that he is, if I can. Oh, here's Travis. Okay, announce the pregnancy. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. He's really sad. Ask him if he wants children. Oh, here we go. Tell Travis he fathered Keris's child. Okay, perfect, perfect. Something seems to be wrong with Keris's pregnancy. Oh no, no. Well, this uh, this let's play might be over before it began. Oh, hopefully this isn't bad news. Otherwise, I'm going to have to invite all these guys over again. Okay, perfect, perfect. Everything's okay, everything's fine, just a slight issue. Which means I can still lie about my baby. Smooth liar from lying about parenthood okay well then travis is done i can send him home he is convinced that he is the father of my child so now i'm gonna go to a psychic again and we're gonna ask about mitchell that will be how we find out who the real baby daddy is we'll just leave it up to the psychics they know what they're doing i see victor's calling what do you want oh i really couldn't give a toss who you want to be friends with there victor 
Ask your wife. The sim you asked is not the one who fathered your child. Well, let's invite him over and tell him that he is. Here he is. Tell Mitchell he fathered the child. I wonder how long it would take before we actually find out who did father the child. I can't even remember who the first one was that we woohooed. I think it was Victor. Maybe Victor is the father. Okay, so she's telling him that he fathered the child. Oh, he's thrilled. Oh, that makes it even more sad. All right, send him home. Send him home. And then we'll go see the psychic again. This time we'll ask about Cameron. Probably best you head on your way now, Mitchell. You've probably got some money to earn to pay for this baby. The sim you asked is not the one who fathered your child. Okay. I feel like I'm watching like a never-ending Maury Povich episode of just one guy after the other. You are not the father. But your wallet is. Okay, here's Cameron. Tell Cameron he fathered Keris's child. I can't just carry on living my life, allowing Cameron to have student debt as his only problem. Oh, he's happy. Aww. All right, send him home. I wonder if there's like a new sentiment for this. Didn't father Keris's child, <laughs> but he thinks he did. Okay, now we'll ask about Hector. I feel like it'd be funny because Hector is the only one that we've actually told of our infidelity to. So it would be kind of funny if he ends up being the father. He's not the father. All right, let's invite him to hang out. We'll tell him that he is. So remember how we said we didn't know who the father was? Well, now we're certain that it is you. And baby does need some new shoes. Is he going to be happy? Oh, yeah, he seems kind of happy about it. Okay, that's good. Oh, Keris's lover reacted poorly to being told they are the parent to Keris's latest child. Oh, what are you doing here, Cameron? I don't try and break hearts, but when you turn up like that, with no warning... Well, I don't have the option for paternity testing now, so I guess by the power of elimination, she's kind of... She's kind of learnt that Victor is the father, so we'll call him up and invite him over. Here he is, he looks pissed off. If he's pissed off now... Oh, she can only ask him to do a paternity test. Well, let's just go and announce our pregnancy. Why are you so angry? You didn't catch me, did you? I mean, in fairness, we can ask Victor to do a paternity test because we know that he's the father. But before he does that, not exactly. Keris's partner took the news of pregnancy more positively than Keris herself. They're not unreasonably happy, but they still don't seem to really understand how Keris feels about this. Well, before I do anything, I just want to check something. I just want to check something. I'm going to hop into Travis's household and I'm going to see if he's got any mood buffs. Just to see, you know, just to see if there's anything going on there. No. No mood buffs at all. He would have a mood buff if he was in the active household, but he has none. Okay, fine, fine. Let's just ask Victor to do a paternity test. He seems angry about it, which is good. Oh, he's going, so she's gone on her own. So does that mean this sim is the father of Keris' child? Right, well then I'm going to invite him over. I wonder if I can lie to him about not being the father. No, I only have the option to tell him the truth. Hmm. You know what? You know what? I'm going to send him home. I'm going to invite yeah. Travis over. Travis is going to move in with me and I'm going to convince Travis that he is the father. Here he is. I'm going to ask him to join my household so he can move in. He can have this family life that he doesn't know isn't really his family. And we will live happily ever after. This is the thing about, you know, getting with five guys at the same time. You have your pick of them. You know, you really get the luxury of choice. So Travis is part of my family now. He just has the shared sadness mood buff. But you know what? We could ask to marry due to having a child together. Okay, so as far as he is concerned, he thinks he's the father of this baby. I think we should ask to marry due to having a child together. Is he going to say yes or is he going to say no? I think he said n Oh, no, they've gone together. <laughs> they've actually... She has convinced him to get married because he thinks he fathered her child. Just married, the promise of a lifetime companion would make any sim happy. So he can deny being the father of Keris's child or ask for proof about father of Keris's child, which he's not gonna do because he's a nice guy. Organized to provide for the baby. So I wonder if I put Keris in labor right now, will he recognize this child as his own? Let's go into labor. 
I'm gonna buy a little bassinet for the baby, and we're gonna start our new family life together. Beautifully wrapped in a web of lies. Have the baby, come on, Keris. Well, he's having the pre-parental panic, which is good. All right, we'll just name it um, Max. So his uh, profile doesn't show that he sees Max as a son, but he did do the pre-parental panic. All signs seem to suggest that he thinks this is his child. Well, on that note, I'm gonna end this video here. This might be one of the most pointless videos, but you know what? I just wanted to see. I wanted to see if I could convince five guys that they each fathered my child, and I think I've done that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And if you can think of another way that I could make an incredibly complicated family, let me know in the comments, because I'm always trying to do that in this game. Bye-bye.